project that I submitted for this scholarship was a video that I created during my sophomore English class about the true cost of war. We were tasked with identifying an issue in which our society struggles to do what's right and create a multimedia rhetorical argument. After assembling all my research on global conflicts, I utilized Aristotle's model of ethos, pathos, and logos and combined different digital media techniques to create my video. I'm most proud of the aesthetic and emotional impact that I was able to craft through video editing. During my junior and senior year, I've taken five UConn EC courses. And they've all exposed me to advanced coursework and a rigorous pace that's different from traditional high school courses. My EC courses have pushed me to improve my organization, time management skills, and work ethic, all useful traits for college and beyond. In my essay called Feminism in the Absence of Independent Women, I explore the treatment of female characters in Ceremony by Leslie Marlon Silko and Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, I consider how both novels can be viewed as critical reflections of how women are treated in the real world um, and about how deeming them inferior to men is morally wrong. Um, UConn ECE helped me pinpoint my career goals and um, decide the area that I want to study in college. Um, especially in my ECE English courses, I realized that I wanted to become a journalist, um, to write about human rights, and um, inspire equitable change. I created Am I Next as a piece in support of the Black Lives Matter movement after realizing the huge lack of awareness of racial issues in my own community. There is a need for education because UConn ECE classes are the reason I'm pursuing political science in college. Um, before these classes, I never had strong personal opinions that I could defend. And more importantly, I never pursued education for myself. I just accepted what was taught to me by others. So these classes really helped me be independent and break out of my shell. In addition to being able to get college credit in high school, UConn ECE has really shown me the higher expectations of college level courses. Uh, this is my pyrotechnic coffee maker that I've worked on over the course of the pandemic. Using IFTTT and webhooks, Google Home prompts the coffee machine server to run a custom Python script. From here, the coffee machine goes into action. For my project, I had to create a model representing a Gothic cathedral. I used different measurements and formulas to create a project that was in scale and proportional. My ECE courses have prepared me for college by allowing me to experience more rigorous courses. I have also been able to use the information I learned during these classes in my other courses throughout the year. Hello everyone, I'm Emma Blanchett and I created a science project with an explanation of the chemistry behind why we need to wash our hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds to destroy the coronavirus. I took on a video to draw out and explain the properties of water and soap and how it relates to getting rid of the virus. This was all an assignment for my EC biology class. EC classes helped me by giving me more challenging curriculum in my high school years so that I can transfer to my college years to help assist me in becoming more successful. I am very grateful for the opportunity to take EC classes, as well as thankful for receiving this award. My name is Stephen Duhamel, and I attend Montville High School. This year, I championed a project focused on mental health during the pandemic. By creating social media posts, stickers, billboards, and painting the youth center, I was able to provide support and encouragement for youth in my local community in conjunction with the Montville Youth Service Bureau. To ensure mental health resources will continue to be available, I also testified virtually to the Connecticut Appropriations Committee on the importance of statewide funding for these services. My UConn EC classes have enabled me to broaden my skill set far beyond the classroom. These interdisciplinary courses spark innovation, critical thinking, and ingenuity to which I used in my community involvement. Not only have I been provided with an education, but also an opportunity to use my knowledge to make a difference.
The COVID-19 pandemic and resulting self-quarantine orders embroiled the world in a far-reaching time of crisis and humankind was searching for ways to remain connected. I then created core concerts, free virtual harp concerts, offered to anyone who wanted happiness and human connection in a time of isolation and uncertainty. Core concerts were personalized to every participant, creating an intimate setting that brought forth genuine human connection between the audiences and myself. I am grateful to my ECE courses in the humanities because it is my goal to spread the love of music as far-reaching as possible, and my ability to use writing, conversational, and cultural knowledge is vital to the success of reaching everyone through human connection and the arts. Using what I have learned in my ECE courses, I am better able to integrate the communication skill set with my artistry skill set, and it is both skill sets, communication and artistry, that must come together to form a true artist. My name is Matthew Keating and I'm a senior at Holy Cross High School in Waterbury, Connecticut. I am the co-founder of a nonprofit organization called Step by Step. Our foundation collects bottles and cans and uses that money to give back to homeless shelters, food banks, and people in need in our community. We have collected over 270,000 bottles and given over $30,000 in food and supplies. My two ECE classes help me prepare for college through my excellent professors and the course layout as a whole. The pacing of this course was tremendous for allowing me to learn many topics thoroughly. I enjoyed my two ECE classes that I took, and I encourage anybody that has a chance to take them to do so. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Anirudh Krishnan and I would like to express my gratitude towards receiving a Yukon ECE Civic and Community Scholarship Award. I founded the Ridgefield Music Mentors Program, which seeks to mentor young musicians and help middle school and elementary school students refine technical skills on various orchestral instruments. I was inspired to create this program in April 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic, as I was motivated to help students continue their music education throughout the summer and into the school year so they could enjoy playing their instruments even through remote learning. The challenging Yukon ECE courses helped prepare me for college level classes to critically understand ways to solve real life issues. And in some ways I've used these courses to help create my mentoring program.